what the hell just happened? So, I think I'm still going to watch the Flash movie. If it comes out, of course. This is something I've been thinking about for a while now. It's been like this like a really hot, controversial topic in my own brain for a little bit now. And I've been deciding, am I going to support this Flash movie when it comes out? Or am I just going to be like, no, go with my morals and say I'm not going to watch this movie? There's a lot of aspects to why I feel this way, of course. You know, it's not just like it just randomly came into like, I just feel like this because I hate the Flash. I don't know if you noticed, but I... I kind of like The Flash. Uh, the Flash is honestly one of my favorite superheroes, especially on the DC side mainly. Uh, they've got stuff on my walls in the background with The Flash. I got The Flash ring. Uh, got the helmet on. You know, I've been him for Halloween. I've seen like all 10 years of the CW Flash show. Uh, at the beginning, I was thoroughly excited for Ezra Miller as The Flash when Zack Snyder introduced him. Uh, I thought I was super excited. I was actually an Ezra Miller fan for a long time. And as I said, The Flash is one of my favorite heroes. From what I heard, they were covering the Flashpoint story arc, which is one of the freaking dopest and biggest comic book arcs for The Flash ever. It's a time traveling mess of Barry Allen's own selfishness that has a whole bunch of rippling effects through multiple Earths and his own timeline. Yeah, we got that on the CW, which it was, it was good for what we got, you know, with a TV budget, but it's fucking awesome and phenomenal, and I was so excited to see that being portrayed onto the big screen. Not only that, this movie was supposed to introduce a Latina Supergirl and freaking Michael Keaton as Batman again, dude. That was gonna be freaking insane. The movie has literally every aspect of what I want in a Flash film, and it's something that I I really want to see, that I was kind of thoroughly excited to see, you know, for the most part, until Ezra Miller decided to go fucking GTA on the fucking world. I'm sorry, I can't wear this anymore. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts, and like, it, it screams on my... Ow! Yo, that fucking sucked. <laughs> Surprise, guys. I have the Flash. I know, I know, I know. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, man, like, it sucks. I've been a fan of Ezra Miller for a while, man. Ever since Perks of Being a Wallflower, the first movie I ever saw with him, uh, I thought he was great in that movie. He was a very emotional and impactful role that I thought was really good in the story and all the way into fucking, what was the last one he was in? Uh, that stupid one with the Dumbledores. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Fantastic Beast. I thought he was okay in that too. And then all of a sudden he starts just going crazy, bro. Like, it's insane. He's like kidnapping people. He's fucking Batista bombing people at karaoke. He's like breaking and entering. Like, it's insane. I mean, he recently came out talking about how he is realizing now he's in the middle of a mental health crisis and he's going to get work on. And if that is the case, 100% Ezra, get the work done, man. I understand what it's like to go through some mental health problems and it sucks, dude. But also, don't take it out on freaking people, man. And it sucks that because of all these actions, the movie is taking a giant, like, PR penalty because of it. Like, look, the, the, the big rumor of the Flash movie, right, is that the there's two versions of Ezra Flash in the background in one scene, and one of them's the main Flash, and the other one, big, big rumor that he's the reverse Flash because his logo looks like the reverse Flash logo. So, like, what if he's playing the reverse Flash? Yo, Ezra's going reverse Flash in the freaking world right now, dude. Like, like, what if Ezra's being method? Like, he's, like, he's playing the reverse Flash still, currently as we speak. And, like, he's just doing the ultimate PR. And he's being fucking the reverse Flash. Because that feels like what's going on. So we have a motherfucking Batista bombing people, kidnapping people, and insulting people at karaoke. Bro, it's karaoke. Half people in karaoke are gonna be trash, dude. Just let it be, dude. It's not a crime. So yeah, dude, like, it's very conflicting, you know? It's like, ugh, Jesus, how do I support this film when we have Ezra Miller, who is an absolute awful person, that is just destroying Hawaii and certain parts of the world right now, destroying his own image day by day? How do we support a film where he's starring in it, right? And at the same time, it's like, yo, what is... DC, what's going on with DC, you know, Amber Heard had that whole trial with Johnny Depp, and everybody freaking fired Johnny Depp from everything, DC swapped him out of the fucking Fantastic Beast films, but Amber Heard, she's still in the Aquaman films, my boy Cyborg was just trying to get some freaking social justice, and then they cancelled him even more, but Ezra can just like, <laughs> do whatever he wants, and still be the star of a fucking huge ass movie, like, I don't get it. Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand what's, 
their plan or what they're doing. And um, this is a message for the Beulahville chapter of the North Carolina Ku Klux Klan. Look, if y'all want to die, I suggest just yourselves with your own guns. Okay? Um, otherwise, you know, um, we'll do it for you if that's really what you want. Okay. Talk to you soon, okay? Bye! He's out of line, but he's right. And this is kind of why I'm on the fence, right? The director is Andy Machete and producer Barbara Machete. The Machetes, the, you know, the, the Machete. They're honestly one of my more favorite modern directors. They were the director of one of my favorite films uh, of all time. And this is genuinely me speaking. Uh, it Chapter 1 and 2. I love the It franchise that they have created. And I thought it was fantastic. The introduction of Bill Skarsgård in my life. Thank you very much, the Machetes. And I just feel like it would be such a huge disservice to the Machetes if I don't watch their film. Like, they probably have been working their ass off on it. They've had it for years, right? They've been working on it for years. They've, they've they announced this film the same time the Flash show started, which was about nine years ago. We're a little late. But we're really, you know, the reason why we're late, and this is the, the, the honest to God truth, is the reason why we're late is because we're all, and I include myself in this, we are very meticulously focused on making a movie that's not just like one of the greatest superhero movies that we can possibly make. This movie's also going to be a gift to the fans, you know? This movie, this movie's going to be a real pure offering to the fans of this material. We're talking about sparking a whole new universe, which is, it's not just the DC multiverse. It's also, it's the speedster multiverse. I'm really delighted at how focused everyone is on getting it just right. And I'm really devoted to that as well. And I honestly, like, we won't make the film unless it's going to be this super gift to DC fans. And I, I just feel like, oh man, it wouldn't be fair to them, you know, like there's a whole cast and crew. Like, see, like I, that's I think that's the my fault of being going to film school. You know, now I think about the cast and crew. Oh, Look bro, at me thinking about fucking people. Stinks. Damn, I think about the cast and crew, man. Like the directors, the writers, the producers, the camera people, the people that were on set, the producers, the freaking grip. I think about them, man. And like that's kind of makes me the whole like sad thing about DC unrelated now. Like the fact that DC is just canceling projects left and right and taking shit off of HBO Max left and right. That sucks, man. A lot of people worked on those. And a lot of people were working on this Flash film. And it's like, man, dude, it's like it sucks that Ezra Miller is destroying a whole film that people have worked on. One of my favorite directors have worked on. Like it's like, man, dude, like, I want to watch this film so bad because it's, so, it's one of my favorite directors with one of my favorite superheroes. But God damn it, the actor of the favorite superhero is being a fucking menace. I don't know, man. To Flash or not to Flash? That is the question. Actually, don't Flash. <laughs> that was weird. Look, all I'm saying is that I'm going to be watching this film. And I'm going to be watching it with a huge grain of salt. But I'm not going to be taking any judgment to the story or the director's work because that's really what I care about. The Machetes, Andy and Barbara, shout out to the Machetes, their awesome work, and the awesome story of The Flash that I've been wanting to see on the big screen for fucking years. I'm not watching this for Ezra Miller. I don't care about him or his life right now. I really hope you get the mental health that you are saying that you are getting, and I hope you for your betterment that you get better man i really do but for now maybe take a step off of acting and let other people fill in the roles here, here, here let me let me tell you how to fix this film let me tell you how to fix the film how to fix the flash without changing anything right at the end while he's traveling through the speed force because he's probably gonna travel to the speed force one more time to get back to his timeline right it's gonna happen at the end when he's traveling through the speed force he starts to materialize and go into the speed force. His actual physical force goes into the speed force. That happens in one of the comics. It's actually the cycle of the Flash. He turns into the lightning bolt that creates him. But what I'm saying is, while he goes into the speed force and goes into his timeline, when he goes back into his form, he's a new actor. Any actor you want, Grant Gustin, uh, Grant Gustin again. Uh, Gra Did I mention Grant Gustin? 
any actor you want, man. Any freaking white dude that Hollywood wants to cast. It's fine. Just boom. Fill him into the role. Or you do the lightning bolt path, right? Where he turns into the lightning bolt, but instead of being the lightning bolt that creates him, what if he's a lightning bolt that creates Wally West? Turning Wally West into the brand new DCEU Flash. That's honestly the best way to fix it. Just switching it to Wally West. Boom. Or, you know, switching the actor through the, the Speed Force. That's the whole beautiful thing of Flashpoint. You're literally messing with the timeline and you're switching everything. But yeah, you know, that's my thoughts, right? I'm going to watch the film um, on the two bases for the director's work and for the story that it's portraying because it's a comic book story that I very much like and I really enjoy the directors. Um, and I'm not going to watch it for Ezra Miller. I'm going to you know, take his performance with a grain of salt and, you know, take him as a person with a grain of salt. I have learned over the years uh, to separate an actor or a, a mainly musicians from their work, you know, the artist from their work. Uh, so I will be trying to do that while watching this Flash movie. Um, you know, if it comes out, <laughs> honestly, at this point, because who knows what's going to happen with Ezra and the PR with that. Uh, they've already displayed three options. It looks like they're going with option number two. Um, but, um, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, you know, I I'm excited to see what the future is for DC. Ooh, look at me. I'm rapping about the comic book industry. Oh, wow, that was fucking clean. I didn't even plan that. Look at that. Damn. All right, but that's just me. Bye. Thanks for watching, thanks for watching, hey and please subscribe. Maybe leave a comment, maybe even leave a like. Thanks for watching and accumulating by what time the video was over so you know I gotta go. Thanks for watching, thanks for watching, hey and please subscribe. Maybe leave a comment, maybe even leave a like. Thanks for watching and accumulating by what time the video was over so you know I gotta go.